Real quick, if you want to make sure you never miss out on a random Frank P video, make sure you check that little bell thing next to my name and make sure that all notifications are set to enabled. And leave a thumbs up. I'll love you forever. What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 85 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off the best gaming setups. And our special guest for this episode is going to be Mr. Who's the Boss, showing off his awesome 2017 setups, I'm really pumped for that. As always, make sure you check the description down below for all the products you see here, I'll have them listed down there for you, as well as the link to enter some of the giveaways we have going on on the series, so make sure you check that stuff out. Let's start off episode 85. First up, we have Alex H, and I feel like we have at least one Alex on each episode, here with a floating stacked display setup. His primary display on the bottom is a 29-inch ultra-wide monitor from LG, and then mounted nicely on top is a 4K Samsung TV, looking to be around 40 or so inches, but they're both mounted very nicely. I don't see any cables, which is great, despite that little spackling mishap. Now, as for his desk, I'm a big fan of that wooden finish. This is most likely like a Carlby countertop here. He has the Magic Force 68 keyboard in black with a little gold WASD keycaps there, a nice accent. His mouse is a cheap wireless one from Pictech, his words, not mine. And then there nicely is the MVMT watch. It's actually the one that I have as well. So you got good taste. And then moving on down to the PC beside his desk, inside the Corsair Air 240 case is an Intel i7 7700K CPU. We got an Asus 1070 Turbo GPU, 8 gigs of some LED RAM, looks like, not too sure which. Possibly the Trident Z RGB RAM, so we'll go with that. And I like that black and white color scheme on the inside. And then off on the windowsill, got a really cool looking Edison lamp there. I'm a big fan of those, and a nice little uh, Stormtrooper head. Again, to kind of all tie his wooden black and white setup theme together, but I do like it. Nice and clean, there's no clutter or anything like that. And a nice way to kick off the show with a stacked monitor setup. Now I know it might be tough, but keep your pants on, all right? Because Emil here, he's he's dropping this right now, and this is crazy. Triple monitors, a very nice looking mounted wall PC on top with this white and blue theme. Damn. For his desk setup, he's rocking the IKEA Alex drawers on an IKEA Lindman desktop, which altogether for under 300 bucks is going to give him a very nice white desk. But as for his monitors, his middle display is an Acer 27 inch XB27 1HU, with the outside being two 27 inch monitors from Samsung. And I gotta say, you guys have been killing it lately with the mounting job. But checking out his peripherals, you got the Ducky Shine 5 RGB keyboard paired with the SteelSeries Rival mouse on a Razer Firefly mouse pad there to definitely add some more RGB lights to his setup. And for audio, he's rocking a pair of the AKG K712 headphones. Very highly recommended. But now we gotta check out that PC, which is mounted just crazy cool on top of the three displays here. And this is a very unique one. I've never seen anything like this before. And it's all custom made. And uh, I'm just loving this, and I'm sure you guys are too. He has the Intel i7 6800K CPU on an Asus X99 gaming motherboard with some G-Skill Trident Z RAM yet again. The GTX 1080 Founders Edition graphics card, a Samsung SSD, and all the water cooling parts here are supplied from EK. They have their own kit for this. And just all together, it makes for a crazy looking white and blue PC. Very nice. And the subtle glow from the lights and the fans and the little diodes on top looks really, really cool. So, Emil, you gotta hand it to you. This is a crazy awesome gaming setup here. This is probably like every gamer's dream out there. Triple monitors, a beast of a PC, the LEDs everywhere, a nice desk. This, I can tell already, an instant fan favorite. Next up, we have Cavan Eye, and this one, I get a really kind of retro feel from it, but it's very classy at the same time, and I'm not too sure why. I think it's because of the, the monitor there. It gives it this retro look, but I'm really liking this. Again, a nice use of the wooden desktop here makes it look really, really great, but that monitor is a 24-inch monitor from Acer, and I still just get that retro look from it. When you take a look into his peripherals, this is where I know this guy means business. He's got a Leopold FC660C keyboard with Topper switches inside, a nice wooden wrist rest, and a Logitech G402 mouse. And you know I couldn't ignore this aesthetic shot here with the succulent, the watch matching the wooden desktop, wallet, phone, loving it. Then as for his headphones, he has a pair of the Bear Dynamic DT770 Pros off to the side, but his peripheral choice doesn't end there. This guy's definitely a keyboard enthusiast. 
So you got the Happy Hacking Keyboard Professional 2, a Real Force, a custom 60% keyboard that he built, a Ducky Shine 3, an Apple Extended Keyboard 2, and the legendary IBM Model M keyboard hanging off to the side. Really nice display. And then we'll finish up with his PC, which he has an i3-6100 CPU on an ASRock Fatality H170 motherboard, 8 gigs of Patriot RAM, an R9-380 Sapphire graphics card, and another Sapphire SSD. But I like the purple and orange kind of LED lights on the inside. It adds a nice warming tone. Got a little uh, Yoda figure there as well. But all right, Kevin, I pick up what you're putting down. I'm really liking your, I want to call it a retro classy setup, just, just for, you know, my sake. Big, big props for that keyboard collection. Now we turn to this bedroom setup here from Big Delete. And again, I just like this warming feel that I've been getting. Definitely looks cozy. As for the monitors, he has two 24-inch ones from BenQ. They're both different. And I gotta say, in terms of, you know, having a gaming monitor, I think BenQ and Zowie are the way to go. So good choices on that. And both of his monitors are sitting on one of those desktop risers from Ikea. For the peripherals, we have a CM Storm Quickfire TK keyboard. I love the black and white feel of that. With a QPad 8K Pro gaming mouse on an extended mouse pad from SteelSeries. And then real quick, under his desk to his PC, inside he has an Intel i5 2500K CPU with an EVGA 970 super clocked graphics card and some HyperX Fury RAM. That's about all we have for specs, but I like the LEDs inside the uh, the lights that give it some glow. And I think this might be due for an upgrade soon just to match the level of coolness of your overall setup. And then across the room from his setup, he has a 50 inch LG TV nicely there and it's kind of entertainment console. Really nice stuff so you can just kick back in bed and watch TV or roll out go to that desk setup, get some games going, but all together for a bedroom setup, I'm really liking it. Like I said, just very cozy. What's up guys, Mr. Who's the Boss here, and first of all, huge thanks to Frank for having me on the show. So this is the setup. I've been working on it for about two years now, so can't wait to show you what we've got. If you do enjoy what you see, be sure to drop me a follow, my links will be in the description. And with that being said, let's get started. So we're going to kick things off with the right hand side of the setup and just below the desk we've got the gaming PC which at the time at least I built it was worth about $3,800. It's not worth nearly that much anymore but it has an i7 6700K and a GTX 980 Ti as well as lots of other cool stuff like killer Wi-Fi, 2TB solid state drive and 64 gigs of DDR4 RAM as well as some pretty fancy water cooling. Just next to that we've got the PlayStation 4 Pro, which looks absolutely tiny when compared to it, but I wouldn't underestimate what it can do. Even as a fellow member of the PC Master Race, you know, the kind of guy who loves 60 frames per second plus and 4K resolution plus, I actually really enjoy playing on the PlayStation 4 Pro, especially on a 4K HDR TV. Speaking of which, the one mounted on my desk right now is made by Samsung and it's 55 inches. It does support most of the latest standards, not exactly the top of the range TV, but I'm looking to replace that pretty soon anyway. It's really colourful, really vibrant, and most of all I decided not to mount it on the wall just to hide all the cables of all these kind of peripherals lying around the place. It works pretty well, you can barely see most of them from the front anyways. Flanking the TV, we've got two Kef Egg speakers, which I have to say are pretty pricey considering the sort of sound volume they can produce, but they tick a lot of boxes. They've got Bluetooth, so they connect directly to my smartphone. They look sleek, they've only got one cable coming out of each, and yeah, they are pretty good sounding too, very bassy, very clear. And the keyboard I use, I mean, I've been using this guy for just over two years now. I've pretty much fallen in love with the Black Widow Ultimate. It's not the quietest keyboard out there. Competitively speaking, it's not really the most responsive or fastest keyboard either, but I just really like it. I like the way it feels, I like the way it looks. And the mouse I've got is a James Donkey 007. Again, not top of the line, but really, really customizable and kind of unique in the way it looks. It's got a vibration mode to build in, tons of LEDs, and loads of programmable buttons. Whilst I don't have an Xbox One in the setup, I really like the Xbox controller, so I've got one of those to use with the PC. And next to that, we've got the Mr. Who's the Boss headphones. Based off the Bayer Dynamic T5Ps, these have a few upgraded pieces and a slightly better cable. And yeah, they're in my color scheme, they've got my logo on it, looks really, really cool. Now the desk I'm using is custom made, just to basically take advantage of the slightly oddly shaped room I'm working with. It's got no legs down the middle, which I really like, and a nice ridge of LEDs, which kind of highlights the shape of the desk. And that just kind of helps to bring the components to life. So moving over to the left hand side, we've got an editing workflow style setup. And you're probably thinking, why the MacBooks? 
Well, I mean, I do a lot of my work on Final Cut, and, you know, it's the most streamlined, most efficient rendering software that I've come to use, and I must have spent thousands on plugins just to use with that program. To be honest, I was on the verge of buying the 5K iMac instead. In terms of value for money, it destroys these MacBook Pros, but I just need the portability, and to be honest, I don't have any alternative. So then just below that side of the desk, we've got my old PC, which has an i5 2500K, GTX 680, nothing too special by today's standards, but can hold its own at 1080p resolution. So if we're having a LAN party or something, it'll be quite a cool thing to hook up one PC over there and one PC on the other side. And just above that, we've got LG's 34 inch ultra wide monitor, which is one of the better ones you can get. I found it really good for editing. I mean, you just plug a MacBook in there and all of a sudden you feel like you've got twice the real estate to work with. So just above the setup, a more recent addition is the introduction of the Nanoleaf Auroras, a smart lighting modular kit, and honestly I couldn't recommend them more, you can control a lot of different colours, all with your smartphone. So thanks a lot for listening, if you did enjoy, I'd appreciate it if you gave Mr Who's the Boss a follow. And with that being said, it's back to Frank. Alright guys, that'll do it for episode 85 of Room Tour Project, I hope you enjoyed, and a big shout out and thank you to Mr Who's the Boss for being on this episode, and if you're really digging his setup, I will put his channel link in the description down below so you can check it out, as well as all the products you saw here, which is all like a cool keyboard or a mouse you want to pick up, I'll have it listed down there for you. If you like this episode, definitely give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Make sure to follow me on the Nice app to be entered in weekly giveaways. You can also uh, vote for your favorite setups in this episode to be entered to win an Amazon gift card. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.